Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to talk about creating your own Git repository on GitHub and then creating an Unreal Engine project and connecting that Unreal Engine project to your Git and thus GitHub. So that way you have your Unreal Engine project on GitHub and can download it on another computer and use it as version control. So one caveat with this video is that we will not doing we will not be doing any development with the Unreal Engine. We're just going to create an empty project and go from there. So the trick that I like to use is that with the repository name, I like to create it after the game that I'm going to call it. This game I'm going to say is Tank Time is going to be the name of the game. Uh, a simple game created in the Unreal Engine. Details to be determined. I will make this public. I'm going to initialize this repository with a readme so that way in the future when I add more data and that kind of thing I can document this repository with instructions on what version of the Unreal Engine I'm using and how if people want to fork this and edit this game themselves they have the details that they need mainly what version of Visual Studio that I'm going to be using and what version of Unreal Engine I'm going to be using. And the next part, the, this last part, is actually probably one of the most important parts is that we're going to be creating a git ignore file based on a series of, of data, right? So this is this git ignore is going to be purpose specifically for the Unreal Engine. I'm not going to add a license because it's not needed, but this git ignore for the, for this repository is very important. This git ignore is very important for this repository because it's a git ignore that's specifically catered for projects that have to do with the Unreal Engine. So I'm going to create this repository and hopefully it will take me there. So now it's here. Now I created this git repository. So now I will go to the Unreal Engine and create an empty project there. Here we are with the Unreal Engine project editor the project browser I'm going to rename my project the same as my repo so my project is going to be called tank time as well as my repository called tank time um, I'm not going to create a blueprint project I want to create a C++ project and you have the option of, of choosing these templates but for this one specifically I'm going to use basic code um, however you you are more welcome to choose like a rolling game a flying game first person third person that kind of thing but for me I want a basic code game and I will see you when this is done launching welcome here I have my empty project and here I'm able to go here and move around and do things and that kind of thing so this empty project is ready for me to add new detail and new content in there. But first I need to establish that it's going to be on GitHub and implement version control. So I'm just going to minimize this for now. And one thing that we see here is that Visual Studio is working. I'm going to let this run and generate all the files that we need. So that way when we want to use GitHub and we want to add this project to our repository, uh, all the files will be there. and I don't have to worry about adding files to the git and then launching the project again and realizing oh oh shoot I just let half of the files put onto github and I got to add a whole bunch more so I'm going to wait for this to finish and I will see you then all right now that visual studio has finished generating all the files that it has to we can exit save the solution now that everything is good uh, tank time is good everything is saved all the files have been created and we have a fully created empty project so I'm going to go here and what I'm going to do is that I have git installed so I'm going to launch git bash now that I have git bash launching here I'm going to say git init so that I can create a repository here in this folder so now tank time the local folder has a local git. The next step that I need to do is that I need to do git remote add origin and I need to add the git repository URL. Since I'm using GitHub, 
I'm going to be using GitHub as the, the link. If I were using GitLab, I would use GitLab. But the idea is that you have the hosting website of your Git. Here I have GitHub. Um, if you're using GitLab, you use GitLab forward slash your username and the repository that you want to have connected with this. So now these are connected. I'm going to type git pull. It's going to try to pull the stuff. I'm going to say git check out master to switch to the master branch. And here you have seen that the git ignore and the readme empty markdown are in this link are in this folder and now these two are connected. So if I type git status all right, I have some stuff that's here that I need to add. So I'm going to say git add dash double dash all. So if I type git status again, I see that all these files here are ready to be pushed to git. I've added them, so I'm going to commit what I'd like to say about adding these files. And I'm going to say added Unreal Engine game files. I'm going to use git push so that way I can push these files to github now that the data is uploading um, we're good I am pushing data that is not easily recreatable with the Unreal Engine and and that is the point of having the, the files that you do on github on on github you want to host the files that are unique and not easily reproducible uh, code that you create with the Unreal Engine should be on here so if you create some new classes and some new C++ files and header files you want to make sure to add them to your git um, so that way you can keep track of them uh, but the stuff that's on the git ignore these are files that you can recreate one of the important ones is actually the solution file so if I have the solution file and I get rid of it one thing that I can do is I can generate Visual Studio project files and you'll see that it'll start generating these project files and it will recreate the solution so that's why files like that are on the git ignore that's why this is on the git ignore because we can recreate these solutions we can recreate these files something that's here let's see build Oh, builds not there. Uh, saved, intermediate. So saved is here. We can get rid of this. Intermediate is here. We can get rid of this. So something that we can do is that well, not only Visual Studio files that we can recreate, but if I double click this, the files are recreated. See, saved and intermediate are recreated. And that's the idea with having these files specifically being ignored by your git ignored. That's because they can be recreated and there's not a problem with deleting them. But the files that are not easily recreatable we want to keep here. So if we refresh we see we have some stuff here. We have the Unreal project, the source, where we have our source files, that kind of thing, and other things like the configuration. So this concludes the video on creating an Unreal Engine game, merging it with your Git, and linking it to GitHub. Thank you.